Canada could be facing a deeper recession than previously expected as interest rates keep on going up. Now with the US economy entering a slowdown phase as a secondary effect, Canadian economy will have a drag down effect on consumer spending and possibly contraction in GDP. 2023 will be a crucial year for world economy as central banks are tightening money supply and the lending rates are on the rise. A recession comes when economic activity declines and that is what experts are hinting for Canadian economy in 2023. In the aftermath of 2008 housing crisis in the US, value of Canadian oil and other exports drop sharply, housing activity witnessed sharp decline while Canadians faced huge job losses. Most economists are expecting a mild to moderate recession this year. Bank of Canada is trying to have a soft landing in order to avoid recession as rates are going up. The widening gap between wage hikes and price increases have forced Canadians to spend less, thus affecting our GDP growth. When Canadians are not able to afford things like they used to, people could realize something is off economically. High rate of inflation is forcing them to spend more on essentials while cutting on discretionary spending as they are left with less disposable income now. When a business slows down, jobs are affected thus impacting people's income during recession. Major layoffs have already started to happen in tech sector where Amazon, Meta, Microsoft and Shopify are letting go thousands of its employees recently. In a worst case scenario, this cycle of job losses and slowing economic activity could lead to depression like we saw in 1920s. More Canadian companies are using the word recession in their earning calls, which shows their cautious approach towards the future. Bank of Canada's Q4 Business Outlook survey showed falling business sentiment as compared to quarter three. When companies incorporate economic slowdown in their earning call, Business expansion and hiring is often put on the back burner. This will have a financial implication for a person who plans to retire now as his pension corpus will be impacted negatively. Surely we are going to see a recession in 2023. The only variable is how mild or extreme it will be. Higher inflation and possible job losses are going to impact some of the Canadians more disproportionately especially if you are too leveraged. I believe if you are asset light and cash rich while going into a recession, you are going to overcome this economic slowdown in a better way. In case you are an investor, in these tough times you can buy good quality assets at a discount for your long term portfolio. On the other hand, if you have too much debt, I am afraid challenging times might be around the corner. Housing is capital intensive whether you are buying to live, invest or you are a builder. When the cost of borrowing has gone up substantially, the business model has to adapt. Now the only variable in this equation is cost of the house which has to come down so that a buyer can afford a mortgage payment. I believe housing downturn will be more pronounced in Ontario and BC as they have the most expensive housing market in Canada, thus highest debt burdens. Imagine an average Canadian family with a mortgage payment for their over $1 million home during recessionary times, higher interest rates and possible job losses. Scary times, right? Economic slowdown is coming to Canada in 2023. The million dollar question is how bad this recession is going to be. I believe the buck stops with Bank of Canada. The time period for keeping rates elevated and incremental increase in lending rates to bring down inflation to their 2% target are major determining factors. Often it takes 8 to 10 months for this monetary tightening to trickle down in the economy. That is why experts are worried about over tightening which could bring extended recessionary time period. But that is me, I might be wrong. Do your own due diligence before investing based on your risk tolerance. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Please consult one before investing based on your personal financial situation. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.